Awesome. Well, uh, Petey, uh, obviously not the results you were hoping for today, but thankfully it is exhibition play. Just how do you feel like the where do you feel like the team is at as you guys uh, are less than a week away from the start of the season? Well, obviously the the coaching staff and the ownership uh, they got to get the team down to uh, 22, 21 guys here. So. Uh, there's a few moves to make, obviously, but uh, it was good to see the young guys out there and uh, what they can do. So, uh, obviously, uh, we got a few kinks to work out moving forward, but uh, overall, I'm happy with where we're at. I was going to say, uh, how, how do you feel? Uh, how do you feel like things are offensively? Uh, Coach mentioned, you know, things are a little bit disjointed, but still very, very early in the season. Well, yeah, obviously, you got to learn to play with new guys, and uh, you know, fortunately for me tonight, I was playing out there mostly with Alvaro, who uh, you know spent a lot of the season with last year, and. But yeah, I know you get a lot of new guys in here. You got to figure out where they're going to be at what timing. So uh, it, it takes time to develop that kind of chemistry, but it'll come along here soon. Uh, just as far as the newcomers, a lot of new faces. We've talked about this before. Who do you feel like has stood out so far uh, through camp and the first two exhibition games? Well, it's good to see the, the guys like Giliotti, you know, coming in here and uh, uh, not exactly sure what to expect from him, but man, that guy—he uh, he moves out there. He's working, and it's, it's fun to watch. And I can't wait to see what kind of uh, you know leadership presence that he brings. As you turn your attention now to the regular season, what are you guys going to be focusing on in practice this week? Uh, getting our little D zone habits, and uh, obviously, like you said earlier, just working on that offensive zone play and building some chemistry. So, uh, you know, we got to be able to go out there and score more goals than they do. And obviously, uh, disappointing result today. Uh, just as you wrap up uh, preseason camp, look ahead to the start of the season. What do you feel? Where do you feel like this team is at right now? Yeah, I wasn't focused on the results for these two games. It was uh, about coming together as a team and, and how some of the new individuals performed out on the ice. And I thought we had some some good performances and some bad ones. So for us, you know, as a staff, we gotta gotta take it as a whole and we gotta break down uh, where we went wrong and uh, find a way to get to this group as quick as we can and iron out some of those uh, some of those things that we need to fix before next weekend. Obviously, with uh, today's performance, it felt like the team was starting to settle in a little bit, especially after uh, the first few minutes of the first period. Uh, what would you see out there as far as you know, trying to get things rolling uh, from a chemistry standpoint, especially with a lot of those new faces, like you mentioned? Yeah, we were disconnected all over the ice, and I mean that's going to happen. A lot of new players trying to play together. We had guys inserted into this lineup that hadn't even had a practice with us, so um, you know we understood that it was going to be a messy game to for it to start. So we were looking at more of uh, individual performance. Who could who could make an impact and I thought there were some guys that stood out for the right reasons out there um, so that's always a good thing so for us like I said we're, we're gonna uh, look at the video and find out where we went wrong and find a way to get this team connected going into the weekend. Obviously looking at a bunch of the newcomers coming in who has made a, a bit of an instant impact you feel like in this first week? Well, I mean, the guys that we're going to rely on heavily, Ty Felliber, I thought he was great. I mean, he had some great speed, played with his heads up, made some great plays. Stefano Giliotti, I mean, his speed was uh, really recognizable. And, and a lot of the newcomers that, uh, or sorry, the guys that have been here before came back and, um, you know, left the, the same impression that we've always had of them. They're going to be good players for us here this year. So uh, for us, there, there were some good individual performances, and we're going to keep trying to ride, uh, ride their back. Five days until the season opener at the Indy Fuel, followed by your home, op home opener against Cincinnati. Uh, what's the big focus in practice this week as you turn your attention now to the regular season? Getting connected in our systems. I mean, we, we got to get into our line combinations right away. We got to find a way to get connected. It was way too scrambly the last two games. And like I said, there, there's a lot of different reasons of, of why that happens. But for us, uh, we're not going to have any excuses come next weekend. So we got to find a way to get everybody uh, thinking along the same uh, page and executing.